Welcome back everyone to another episode of Beyond the Dark. In today's episode, we are exploring an abandoned haunted house. Not this one, this one. I don't know about this. Explorers, this might be the most haunted mansion we explored yet. Not saying that Conjuring wasn't as haunted or as crazy as it was, but this one's actually rated number nine in the most haunted abandoned mansion or house in the entire United States. This is by far one of the most haunted mansions in the entire world. Rated number two in Massachusetts as one of the haunted ones, but number nine in the whole US. We are located right now in Gardner, Mass at the SK Pierce's Mansion, also known as Sylvester Pierce's Mansion. This place was built in 1880, and it took 100 men in over a year to build this mansion. Now, I'm not gonna get into the crazy history right here on the stoop of the SK Mansion. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna talk to the management team here, and hear what they have to say. But I will say that over nine people died in this mansion, and they found bones of unconfirmed deaths located in the basement. So there's a lot to discover, we have to investigate. We're not alone, we're with Seth, with our friend Iz from our last episode, we're with John, and we're also with the owners of The Conjuring House, who teamed up with us for this collaboration video. All right guys, let's go inside, and let's explore this place. Look at the outside of this mansion, guys. One of the most spookiest ones I have ever seen, and I'm really excited to be doing this episode. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Hi, um, we just moved into the room you wanted us in. Can you say hello to us? Oh. What the f*** was that? Yo. What the hell was that? There have been reports that people are saying that there's a lot of demons or other entities here and the ghosts can get violent. They said that don't torment them. They say if you start tormenting these ghosts, they're going to like attack you. Apparently there's been already reports that these ghosts have been like throwing things, shutting off the lights, banging doors, giving people scratches and trinity marks on them. A lot of different things have apparently went down and happened here in this mansion. I have yet to see any of this myself personally, and I told you guys we've been keeping the show 100% since day one, since the beginning of The Conjuring Show when we started. The owners of The Conjuring people generally really liked us and they wanted to join us on this video. They think we're cool. They're pretty cool. Before we go inside and really get down to business, I wanna show you the whole house, a whole circle of the house. Obviously this house was built, like I said, 1880. Super, super old, been refurbished. The inside's beautiful, I've seen it for myself. One day I hope to own a place like this. All the windows are gated. Apparently they even had people trying to break in here, people trying to ghost hunt, you know, the whole thing like that. People actually think that no one lives here but I've heard some people do live here. Like sometimes the owners of the place uh, will come back. The owners who own this place now live in New Jersey. And that's the only thing I really know about it. Yeah guys, that's pretty much the whole outside of this place. I was just showing you guys what it looked like. I really like how it looks. Before this, the paint job that we're looking at here, it was actually an older color. And I'm gonna show you a picture of what it looks like before than what it looks like now, here. One thing that's cool that I didn't know about it, but Corey just told me about it. Walt Disney was gonna buy this house and split it in half, cut it literally in half, and bring it to the California Disney Park and bring it to the Florida Disney Park and use it for their haunted mansion. That is so far the best history I've heard. I didn't even know about it. I guess Corey's bringing this in. He's the one opening the door for us now. Corey, I gotta ask really quick. What house is more haunted, yours? or this guy's? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, explorers. We're going inside the first room. I'm assuming their living room. We're walking, it's a bit dark. Let me try to bump up the ISL on this camera. Oh, maybe I could just turn the light on. Does the light work in here? I'm so used to no power in places. Wow, yes. So not knowing the history of this place all the way to its full extent, we're gonna explore it before we get a tour. I'm just screwing around here, seeing what's going on. Look at this. 
Nothing out the ordinary though yet, but just everything looks amazing and very Victorian. I mean, dude, I don't know why there's a skeleton on it, but that's cool. The old piano, does it work? Oh, it works. Honestly though, now that we're talking about the Haunted Mansion, this might be the real Haunted Mansion. Like from the Disney. Wow, look at this room. Beautiful wallpaper. There's even some designs on it. Now see, this is like the little museum room. And apparently, we're gonna get more into this, but they said that this t-shirt was found in the walls. They found it in the wall. So that someone could have died and they tried hiding their clothing. We don't actually know. And this is SK Pierce, Sylvester. He's the owner of this place. And this is his second wife. His first wife died only a week of being in here after it was built, and I don't know why. A lot of things we're gonna talk about as we go. I'm just doing a rundown first. All this is shot in 4K, obviously. I'm trying to step it up a notch. People have been asking me why I'm filming 4K, so we're doing it. Look at this piano. And look at this. The main lobby. Dude, what the heck? Now we're gonna head up to the second floor. We're gonna see what's going on. And if I missed anything, we'll figure that out later towards the end of the night when we're filming for the ghost part. Obviously we usually put things in part one, part two. The first episode is always like showing you guys the house, getting a feel for it. And then the next episode, boom, we go right in and attack. Sometimes we put it all in one episode. Starting off at room five. Love that the power works. Dude, that wallpaper is vibrant. It's like furry. Literally, it's furry with silver. Apparently, again, we're gonna go into this later. Apparently, someone actually got strangled in this room. Moving on to room six. Oh no, it says two, that's weird. So if that's two, why did they name that one five right next to it? We were just in that room. This looks like a baby room, I don't even know. Oh, I mean, I guess it was a baby's room. There's a baby right here. And that is a cradle, some sort. Oh God, no. What is this doing here? Just empty. What is this? I'm assuming old photos of people that lived here. Yo, look at this old record player. It works. It works? Yeah. Oh my god, we're gonna have to have them to play it. Yeah, there's a lot of rooms. We have to go figure things out here. We have to investigate. Are you guys scared of like getting possessed or something? Um, I don't know yet. I'm scared of that room though. Oh yeah, because that's what I just said. The people got strangled in there, right? You we don't the think. In there? The red one. Yeah, Did you go in? In? yeah, I just explored it. Did you like feel the heaviness in your chest? Not really. Really? Not yet. Everybody else in the room in the house has already said that they have. You're the only one. Ghosts never like me, man. But they want you guys. That's why. They always, they always like you. They always want me. I they always want nice, you. But... They just, yo, know, yeah, hey. Yeah. This is the room on the outside that sticks out, but obviously if we go upstairs, we'll be on the tower part of it. It's just a small room. See, this is where I always wanted like a small room. I just, I don't know, it'd probably be my like little live stream Twitch room if I actually had one. If I had a mansion like that where I can just look out, see everything outside my view, that's all I would want. Just that thing that I can stick out and just kind of see what's going on. Almost like a watchtower, right? Whoa, this actually has no power in this room. I definitely feel that in there. What, inside the, that room? Yeah, like it's just a heavy feeling in your chest. Yo, I just flicked the switch mad times and now the power turned on just randomly, by itself. Yeah, I don't know what that is. No, but that's weird. I literally just remember, you guys see me, I'm flicking the light. 
And then she just said she felt like she couldn't breathe in that room. And all this just happened at once. I don't know. That could be a sign already. But what I was trying to tell you guys is that this is SK Pierce's room. And we already just had maybe something just, I don't know. I don't know. Unless it's just old. But that light did not turn on. It took a while. That's weird. There's a guest book. Did you sign it yet? I didn't sign it. This is, this is from 1938. Look at the calendar. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought there was one you're saying that we can just sign right now. Nah, dude, that whole thing is full of like signatures and stuff. That was supposed to be on like the desk or something. Dude, I, I was saying like maybe we should sign it, but I don't think we should, huh? No, maybe not. They'll explain what it is. Yeah. All right, so I did all the floors except this one. It's time to go up. Oh, the air feels good in here because obviously they installed AC. Just checking everything. Why is he here? Wow, this room's massive. Why are you here? What's your name? Wild Willy Talk? Yeah, I'm Willy Talk. Oh my God, I'm bored. So quick things to go over. One more thing I wanna talk about is that yes, it took 100 men to build this house, but what's intense is the whole outside was customly done with sweat and tears to make this house look great and that's why it took one year. So that's why the outside is just so magnificent and I'm sure something's been damaged and we just don't know about it, but the archways and things like that, obviously it's been kind of refixed up, but in its time it was prime one of the best. Again, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what any of these rooms are, but we're here. We're just exploring. Ooh. So I'm about to say we're done. See, I didn't open up any closets yet because I'm waiting, but so what's I good? I didn't want to open any doors, but um, John's friend that is, is coming here, I guess um, one of the people that stayed here, the guy that ran the circus, PT, I forgot his last oh, name, yeah, Burnham for... or whatever. I yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess one of his original pieces, his oddities that he used in his freak shows, the original, there's only three that were ever made. One of them is actually purchased and in, is in this closet. Let's open they it. call it the Fiji Mermaid. Get the heck out of here. Yo! <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, they're gonna tell you that too. I swear. So they, so this is for the freak show? Yeah. What the heck are we doing here? That was bought three years ago. Oh my God. It even says, please don't touch fragile. It's an original. There's only three ever made? Three, and that's the one, like the first one. And it's just here sitting here in the closet. Yo, I did not expect this guy. Me neither. What the hell? It's insane. <laughs> you know, remember when we watched American Horror Story? They yeah. feature this in the, in the show. Wait, in American Horror Story? Mm -hmm. And Freak Show. They feature that? Yeah, there's like an episode where the guy, like, he collects all the oddities, and this is like I one didn't of the even know that. Yeah. <laughs> Yo! It's like a famous thing, the Fiji Mermaid. And we're looking at it. Yes. The Fiji Mermaid. There's Dude. two replicas, but this is the one. Let's keep it. <laughs> this is our mansion now. This is our <laughs> There's probably a lot more in this house I did not go over, and that's why we're gonna leave it to the expert who knows the place more, the manager who runs the place now, or the property. We're gonna go ahead and talk with them. Obviously, we have John and Corey and Jen here, and they're gonna be helping us on this ghost investigation. All I would like you to do is just I give us a general tour, okay. and like tell us like, Some you know. of it, not all, I mean it's just- Actually, no, I wanna know about every death of the house. Oh, that I, I mean, let me get that paperwork. <laughs> There's a, see, we have to so get the much. paperwork. Because nine people or whatever died in, so it's so many stuff that you can't is. remember. It's it's there's nine people yeah. died in here. Yeah. Yeah. These are the spirits that have been in here. Wow. There's 17. I think she so, yeah. and one of them's a cat. A, oh, well, so we have a cat that died here. There's a cat that died here, that's not cool. This is yeah, the list of the spirits that interact here. Oh, oh, that's good. You guys good. can pause that and read it if you want. Yep. The three kids. Oh, I thought the it, little I thought girl. Wait, story. kids died in this house? The three kids of SK? Mm, that? Oh. Um, no, his um, granddaughter did. Okay. Okay, Rachel. She's a little two-year-old. There's a picture of her in the other room. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. you see it on the mantle? Yep. And then there's a little boy in here that came from somewhere, did not die in here, but somehow ended up somehow. in here. What the yep. heck? Right? Eno, that's who weird. burnt to death upstairs. Yep, that's the guy. Oh, yeah, he we did had not spawn it. Spontaneously combust, okay? Yep, all right, that's, that's drinking yep. and smoking, and he went, you know, yeah. to sleep. 
Maddie was the servant, one of the servants here. And she died in this house too. She Jeez. did not die in this house. She's just one of the spirits here. Oh, okay. okay. Um, Susan and Sarah are on the third floor in that beautiful peach room. Right. They're both in there. They died. William is on the third floor. Gordon's a little boy that came in off the street somehow. They think that he might have drowned. David's in the basement, the cat. Wait, know. is it true someone died, uh, drowned in the basement? They're saying that the, a child drowned in the cistern downstairs. Did you guys didn't do the basement yet, have you? No, no that, I was saving that for you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we needed right. like savior, like you're a savior. He scares the hell out of me. Yeah, it scares me too. That's, we wanted to feel more comfortable with someone who knows about it. She told me that she had an experience in the basement where... Um, yanked me down downstairs. Really? Yes, yes. So then we have James, who comes with yeah. the piano over there. Um, the piano in the dining room. Yeah, the spirit came with the piano from the previous owner. Yeah. Oh, God. Yes, yeah. The butler on the third floor. So a bunch of them. Oh, we're going to have to okay. we'll use that paper later. Yeah. Yeah. Great. All right. Nice. All right. Let's go. T let's tour go. us around. Well, let's go this way, okay? Yeah. What, what's your name? So the Marian. 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 All right. I like that name. My mom's name's Mary. Wait, yeah. is that your song on the piano? Yeah. Oh, you, funny. Oh, you can play. No, I can't play. Somebody made that song for me. Oh, I was going to say, I, I want to hear you play. No, no. That's Marion's song. Yeah. Marion's song. Marion's song. That's the sheet music. We got our buddy. I named him Bill. He Bill. Song. Bill works. Bill. Bill works. I like that. No, I'm saying it works. Bill, oh, the name works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bill works. No, like, no, no, Bill. no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, you just kind of get up and walk around. <laughs> All right, well, welcome, guys. It's Thank you so much. Here. We're excited. Pierce yeah, please. Mr. Pierce, SK Sylvester Knowlton Pierce. He owned the furniture factory across the street here, and he built this house for his first wife, Susan. She died two weeks after it was done, so he didn't get to enjoy the house. How'd she die? She died of causing the flu. Oh, damn. And that was back in the 1800s. They didn't have... Yeah. You know, medicine for that, you know. So um, he built the house for her, and then she died. They had one child, Frank, and then he remarried after a year or so to his second wife, Susan, and they had two kids. They had um, Edward and Stuart. Come on this way. I'm gonna come this way. Oh, let, let you know that all this stuff is original to the house. Everything, oh. all of this woodwork and stuff is all from the 1800s. Wow. Yeah. What it's, I love yeah. about this is that the wall is like literally velvet. Yeah, it's the wallpaper, right? It's incredible. Mm -hmm. you felt the wall? Yeah, it's furry. Yeah. See the drawing right up there that I can't reach? Yeah. <laughs> um, the previous owner, Edwin, up in the master bedroom, he saw her floating in the window three mornings in a row. And she was weeping and crying, so he got up and drew her. So Whoa. He also drew the one I showed you. The yes. Old, creepy. The creepy guy that came from yep. the floor. Yeah, yeah, he drew that too. So this guy had a lot of vision. Like A lot happened to him here, yeah, and his wife. His wife was possessed here. Oh, wow. So okay. she had a possession take over her in here. Question. Have you had people that came here and like got scratched maybe or? Uh, yeah, we've had people scratch. We've had people poked, hair pulled. Wow. Me, I got yanked down downstairs. Yep, you, got, you said you got yanked. Um, yeah, I had so somebody here that Literally on the third floor landing, the third floor got literally lifted up and thrown down the staircase. Really? That so was, what happened? He, he was investigating with, there was two camera guys and two investigators and one was going, you know, go to the top floor. Right. And he went in, he, there's one entrance here and there's one entrance on the other side. And one of them was antagonizing and bullying. Oh. And they took it out on the other guy that was innocent and they picked him right up and poked him. He went right down onto the... So that's why Simple. there's a warning on the website that, you know, don't antagonize. Don't antagonize. It's you know, right. I wouldn't want my child to be antagonized. Exactly. I want it's just one-on-one. You just yeah. don't, you don't just provoke. Don't do yeah, no, I agree. It's rude. It's rude. Yeah. It's rude. And he paid the price. Yeah. Dude. He paid the price and he will not come back. His name is John Kappas and he will not come back. Nope. Yo, right. guys, that's legit. Well, luckily <laughs> we're, we're, you know, cool. You know what it is? It's like, they're, they're like regular people and they could even be right in front of us. Yeah. Yeah. They can hear us talking right yeah, now. Yeah, right now. Um, okay. I'm gonna show you guys something. Okay, I'm I'm excited. All right, this is um some of the stuff that we caught here. Okay. Excuse me, put this in front of your face. Okay. These are some of the spirits that we caught just recently. This is Mark Avila. He was in this room right where his chair is, and that's his friend. And he took a selfie. Yeah, what the heck that. is that thing? We don't know. He's standing right unicorn. here, yeah. taking a selfie, 
and whatever this is was walking by and heading that way. And Mr. Pierce's picture was on that wall. So right. we don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's unexplainable. Just it is definitely. unexplainable. See the little person yep. standing right here? Yeah, that was taken at weird. 12 o'clock in the afternoon, yep, up on the second floor. Yeah. And if you look at this one, there's a little girl running around the post. The right here. Oh, standing. dude, yep. See I her see here? That. And then right here, you can see like a white, there's a yep. man standing there. It's like a. Some kind of like just thing. Let's just yep. say that. Yep, yeah. He actually, like, he's like a butler. He's standing like this. Hmm. Yeah. And then we got the little girl here. There's the top of her head. Oh, that would freak me out. Yep. That was crazy. That's that was the it. day she said my name. Yeah? She oh. said my name. She goes, uh, Ken was doing a um, EVP thing and right. it was like, say Marion, you hear, hi Marion. No, I'd be out. Yeah. Shoot. On an EVP? Yeah. That's yeah. just. That's that was something. live. Yeah. We heard it with our yep. own ears. And then this is Rachel. She's the one that passed in the house. Rachel mm. Pierce. And this little boy. I told you. I told you when I saw the picture in the in the dining room. Yeah. I said, I said exactly it? that. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah, she's two. Yeah, this wow. is legit. It I is like legit. This. It's yeah, this legit. is legit. It's crazy. It's That's why stuff. I like exploring places like this. There's plenty of, no there's one's plenty screwing of with us. reports of activity in yeah. this place. Like, there's no. going to be a lot of stuff yeah. to go over here. Yeah. And, I mean, we have a great team tonight, too, so I'm super excited. Like, if, we have the best team. If, yeah. if, we literally if, have the best team. If this was a real awesome thing, it would be the people in this building right Yo, now. Yo, fact. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you have noticed, like this is all original to the 1800s. This is all the hinges, all the, everything in the windows. Dude, that hinge is legit. It's amazing. Yeah, that's really the good. Doorknobs, everything. That stuff gets me. The woodwork. Yeah. yeah, I was pointing out the woodwork. I was like, dude, this is insane. This is the ladies' parlor. This is where the ladies would come after dinner to have their tea, and all the men would go in there and have their brandy or whatever. Um, all the stuff that you see in here is stuff that Ken has picked when he was doing the walls and stuff. Right. And he found things in the wall, old shirts. Old ladies things over here that they would do. They're, um, what I want to say, their neck things and stuff, you know? Yeah, That's what they... this is up here. Right. That's Mr. Pierce right here. And this is his second wife, Ellen. We do not have a picture of Susan. I wish we did. Um, I think she's gorgeous. That's my favorite spirit in the whole house. Is she nice? She's, yeah, she's very nice. She resides a lot. She follows you around the house, but she's always in the red room. Oh, okay. Always in the red room, so. That's the velvet, red velvet room with the furry. <laughs> still on the walls too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Question, because yeah, because you had you told me a story about the, the bones, the bones in, the in the basement. Can the you... previous owner, Lillian, she had a possession take over her, like I told you. Right. And um, something told her she needed to go downstairs, so she went downstairs and she was digging in the kiln down in the basement, which we'll go to. And she found a bone, probably about that big. And she brought it upstairs to her boy. He's they're not married, but and he was going to the doctor, so he brought it to the doctors. And the doctor said that. It was a female pelvic bone, like a 16 year old. And yeah, when he was it's down, crazy. it's crazy. Yeah, dude, they had bones right here. And too. then when he, she also dug out of there, like, see this thing right here? It looks like something, like one of these. See? Yep. It, it goes like right here. Mm -hmm. And then there's parts, more bones. There's like a key. There's like, this used to be back in the day, they had the nylon things that the garters yeah you know so that's stuff that this is all stuff from women that she found downstairs so and this is undocumented death that's not even undocumented can't, don't even know so we don't know how people are fully truly died we don't even know yeah. if, if she because it dates so far back died in there we don't know yeah. i mean who knows that's it's interesting though. until like we it. find out until it's documented we don't know yeah. we don't know that's household we mysteries do have yeah, proof just... that something was down there oh yeah for sure you know so, so like that's there's, there's things that are still left uncovered that we don't know about in this house. About. We don't know. I've been here yeah. years and I don't even know about right. it. You know, that's what's, so. Yeah, that's, I like that mysteries. Mystery. Yeah, mysteries. Yeah, so you have to come back and figure I might, out. I might, I might call through the house of mysteries. Dun, dun, dun. Oh yeah. Come on in. <laughs> come on in. Come join. Yeah, this is the red room. I like this room. I love this room, but the only thing with this room is I can't breathe in here. I, did you get that? I feeling? did get it. Yep. Josh is the only person that said he didn't feel that. When Everybody in sounds has felt it too yeah. when they came back up. Here. Here's my guess. I think we I feel that way is because we always run up the stairs and we come right here, so we feel like we're out of breath. No, I didn't. No, right here, no. it's not like that, dude. No, because, it's like, in my two, opinion, two women died in here. Two? Oh, okay. Both wives. Oh. So. so oh, they both passed away. And this is. Here's yeah, how this it feels. Is 
it's not like a corny like I can't breathe thing. Like it's like oh, there's a heaviness in, in the middle of your chest. Right. Like it's it's just heavy to breathe. Yes. Like it's yes. well, yeah. She did say like she felt anxiety. it too. Yes, exactly. Yeah. In and Italian, yeah. that agita feeling. What you what you said yeah. about um your your heart beating fast? Mm -hmm. I can literally feel my heart like pounding out right my now. chest right now. Like. But when I go out, it'll stop. As soon as you cross the threshold mm -hmm. right here. I'm glad I don't feel like I'm gonna die, so <laughs> I must too. be really healthy. Real Your guys' blood pressures must be up. No, mine's good. Yes. I have good blood pressure. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And every time yeah. I come in here, it happens. No, that's time. interesting, though. I, I find that cool. Like... Yeah, I find it cool. Yeah, you find it cool. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm gonna die, but it's still cool. I find it cool <laughs> that you guys feel like you guys want to die. No, I don't feel like yeah. I want to die. Well, well too. Yeah. yeah, I just feel it. Yeah, they exactly. they feel it. It's you know, that's weird. That's cool. All yeah. right. Back in the day, if you were anybody, you had a sink in your room. Right. In here, because it was a ladies. This is her bath. Her where she would have bathed and stuff. Um, under here is the sink. It's not fixable, so we just put one of those. Um, Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. But this is the sink under here. Drawers. This was be her. I guess it would have been her dressing room or whatever. Yeah. You know? That's cool. That a sink. I never had a sink in my house. Well, you were nobody. I'm nobody though. That's, <laughs> you that's, are nobody. That's, that's, that was bringing me to my story. Yeah. So I read online that there was supposedly a um, a red room strangler in they, the, here. They say that it's a rumor that somebody came in and there used to be prostitutes here, which is. There's no, no documentation, record. no. Now, it used to be a boarding house because there's numbers on the doors. That's what I was wondering. Yes. It used to be a boarding house back in the 60s and 50s. It was also an inn in the 40s for Edward Pierce, one of the sons. To make money, he made it into an inn. Right. But they say when it was a boarding house that prostitutes would come in here and somebody was murdered and stuffed in the closet. It didn't happen. We have no documentation. But insane. we're not saying that when it was a boarding house, who's to say that somebody didn't go across the street and pick up right. a woman and bring oh, her back in? Yeah. Who's to say? It is a possibility, you know? But it's not truth. It's not truth. It's, it's not, not, truth, it's not well, fact. Well, it's not documented, so it's not a fact, right? Right. right. It could have happened, right. but we just don't know. Now, we got a lot of people that were investigating in this room, and a lot of people have been touched inappropriately in here, have been grabbed, you know, whatever. I mean, yeah. a couple people threw money on the bed, and some guy got grabbed. Oh God! Thinking, oh, here's some money for you because they said it was, you know. Yeah. But you don't know. You just don't know until we see it documented. Well, tonight let's throw money on the bed. Like, for real. We'll see. We'll see. We'll it's the nanny. Right. Okay. I mean, it's a beautiful room, but it's not as pretty as the rest of the house. Mm -hmm. Um, downstairs is that a door. Door. dude. That literally looks like like a a portal door. The way it's just well, placed this is there. The dumbwaiter. Oh, okay. The food would either go from the basement downstairs into the pantry. Yeah. Pantry, and then it would come up here. But Ken made it. Into a closet because fire hazard it could yeah. cause fires. Right. So Dude, when there is a story I can tell you about here. Well, my like nephew, stories. my nephew Trevor, he yeah. lived a couple houses down over here. Probably gonna say probably how old is he? Probably 25, 30 years ago. And he broke in when it was empty with the neighborhood kids and they were playing hide and seek. And he was hiding in here. And he heard the girl that was it. You know, seven, eight, nine, ten, here I come. And he peeked out and he saw her go running by, a no. live girl. And all of a sudden he's like, oh my God, I got the best place. And he's hiding and all of a sudden someone pushed him out of the closet. Oh my God. Literally pushed him out and said, get out. Now he's probably seven, eight years old. He got out of the closet, he ran back downstairs into the basement and climbed out the window they broke into. And he would not come back in here. Damn, that's scary. I it's scary. Back in here either. And after getting pushed like that. Hunters, paranormal people come, wanted to interview him, and he said no. He went to Iraq and back three times. He was shot in Iraq, and he still would not come back in here. That's so a story. This is a this is a grown man who has served, has yes. seen his fair share of a hairy fight, and yeah, he and will he not, not come, come back, back in this I house. I had to beg him because I won't come in here by myself. I had to beg him, Trevor, come on, come in with Auntie. Wow. And he, he did. He came in. Because I begged him. Yeah. Um. Because I had to check the house all the time, and he actually came over and he opened the closet and he faced his fears and but it didn't make sense. Right. Yeah. That's a it's that's a, and that's a true story. That's yeah. crazy. That's, that's crazy. That's that no. That's really scary. That's probably mm -hmm. extremely traumatizing. Mm -hmm. For an eight year old. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but breaking in. Come on, I don't recommend that to anybody. Yeah. yeah. Don't do that. Okay. No, don't do that. We don't recommend that either. Oh. Okay. You it's a maze. It's a maze in this house. Come on in. That was because Yo. this was the nursery. I'm gonna turn the light the off. The nursery. So what do you mean? Yeah, what, what do you mean by nursery? This is where the babies 
babies. Uh, this is where when they were born, they would stay in here. Okay. The cribs and stuff would be in I here. I never showed this room off yet. This is my oh, first room. okay. Well, this is actually the warmest room in the house. It's perfect. Um, hmm. Of course, Maddie would be the, the maid and the take care of the kids. Right. So she would be able to get the food, come in here, take and look behind you. There's a sink because... There was somebody. There was somebody. I wish I had a sink. Yep, and they were. This house was a Freemasons house. You guys know. What oh yeah, Freemasons I know Freemasons. And Freemate lions were for protection. And if you look over the sink, the lions. Yep. The lions up there. Yep. That's so, sick. Um, at one point, there was other owners that owned this place. Yeah. It was painted a different color, and then new people from New Jersey bought the place. Yeah, so Bob what, and Allison Conti. They okay. bought the place. They bought a site unseen. Okay. They didn't even. They had never come here until the day they so signed the house. So what made them buy it? I think they saw it online. And I think they, Allison started online. She goes, oh my God, look at there's a haunted house for sale. They came, they bought it and they came up that day. I was here that day and wow. shopped around the house and crazy, right? That is, so, that is insane. And then they realized, oh my God, there's a lot of work to do. And, and th so, so they bought it just because it was a haunted house, but they never lived in it. They never lived in it. No. Right. No, they have not lived here. And the previous owners, what made them buy it and why did they, they stop it buying it? They bought it because they love Victorians. Okay. Their name is Edwin and Lillian. Okay. They were from Brockton. Right. The Rochester yep. area. And they bought it because they love Victorians. And they came up and looked at it one day and they were like, oh my God, it's gorgeous, gotta buy it. But the realtor wouldn't let them take pictures. Mm -hmm. She's like, why can't I take pictures? He said, no, you can't take pictures. And we're assuming because you could probably catch spirit. But they didn't know that it was haunted. They didn't believe in any of that stuff. They bought it in 2007, they moved it in 2008, and it was just constant spirit, constant hauntings. Really? A lot of hauntings. Wow. Things moving, being touched. That's like interesting. A, this is the room that was his office I told you guys about. Um, right. The, the picture in the other room. His yeah. desk was right here. He works with Blue Cross. And the spirit came, actually right where I'm standing, the spirit came right up on the floor right here. Oh, and he's seen he, it. He was like, I'm out. He saw it. And then he also saw a floating head here coming in this doorway one time. I saw the floating head here from downstairs. Whoa. Like a, about the size of the pillow on the bed, and it was just round, and it turned and faced us, and it was it looked like Mr. Pierce. Whoa. Oh God! Holy crap! And yeah. And it went into the wall, and then it came out later on, and it was had a pulsating light, and went across and into the dining room. Wow. That's crazy. And and he, the owner seen it. The owner oh, saw the full yeah. head. He saw the body. Yeah. After that, I'm out. Night. That's it. After that, yeah. and then his wife was possessed with something. Oh, she had dude. something laying on her in bed. She had, and after the possession, I was here that day. I'm the one that took her out of the house and said, "Oh my God, there's something wrong Jeez. with you." Jeez, it's crazy stuff happens here. We got it. We got the whole intel now. You do. It's crazy. I couldn't. The stories you guys, yeah. the stories I could tell, it's so scary. This safe right here, guys. This is Ellen's safe, the second wife. This is her safe. Oh, I'm crazy. assuming. Yeah, you know what's the name? Yeah. I'm assuming that it would have had her jewels and her paperwork and all that stuff in it, you know? Right. So. Dude, that's crazy. That's her actual safe. I don't know. I, I love that. They actually sold this safe yeah. at one time and it, we couldn't get it out of the house, so we had to give the money back. So, oh, wow. and the door is so heavy. I don't know if you guys moved the door. Well. Oh, no, I didn't touch but it. But it is heavy. I'm actually going to try to move it. It's. Dude, that is a really heavy freaking door. I want to try it. Now you make me want to try You have to. Oh, wow. Yeah, dude. That's some power to it. Right? Yeah. Right? And you showed me earlier, this this it, This does work. It's not work. original to the house, but it does work. Okay. I'm so to play cool. it for you? Yeah, yeah, I would love it. Isn't that Holy so crap. Cool? Isn't that Dude, that reminds me of like really old school video games, like, like Fallout. This is like swing music and stuff, you know? Yeah, like, exactly like L.A. Noire. Yeah. 30s, 20s, 20s, 30, yeah. Dude, yeah, hang yeah. on. I gotta add that up. Hang on, real quick. I gotta put down my story. The only person on this floor that has fireplace. Well, the, the, yeah. All right, yeah. Can Everybody you, else does not have heat. Just SK Pierce. That's it. Yep. And this is his room because he could see his factory right across the street. Oh, is his factory still there? Oh, yeah, still there. See? Yeah, it had burnt down back in the 40s. Where is, is that right there? That's it right there, yep. That's, that's SK factory. Pierce's factory. I know it's tough to see, but yeah. yeah. So cool. that's, this is the room that Ed and Lil was their master bedroom, and that's not the bed that they were. She was, the bed was coming out of this way, and um, somebody was on top of her, and she kept screaming, get it off me, get it off me, and 
he came running in and he couldn't even lift her. He said she was like 500 pounds, he couldn't lift her. And she's Damn. a very big woman. So he actually just took the blankets and everything, pulled the blankets off the bed and she landed on the floor. And whatever it was, released her and that's when they left. Right. They left and never came back. Yo. They would come back and visit us, but they never moved back in. That was their closet. They left all their clothes. They left all their furniture. Food was still in the cupboards and it was crazy. It's crazy. Wait, so the owner? The previous owners. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was going to say. Whoa. Yeah. Ed and Lil. Yeah. Ed yeah. And yeah. They yeah. just, they had so much happen to them. They got so tired and freaked they out. They got tired. And then the, the woman, I remember, she did a picture downstairs. Right. And she was floating behind you. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, right crap. There. Getting out of here. Right? Yeah. Wait. Oh, I, I thought something was broken. No, these are speaking tubes. You would, um, one of these goes to the kitchen and one of these goes to the nanny's room. Let's see. If, so if I talk, they'll hear me downstairs, you think, right now? They could. I don't know which one. Does it say on here? Do which you, one is Let me try. Do you want to test that? Yeah. That's crazy. Right? <laughs> yeah. Y'all talk now. What? I'm going to talk. Okay. Yeah. No. I know you're home now. Yeah, I know you're home now. Right? <laughs> you're a noodle. Is that crazy? Yeah, that's cool. That's yeah, Eno's room, the guy who burned himself yes, yes. with he the mermaid. He did spontaneously combust. Okay. He fell asleep smoking and he was drinking and he burnt to death as the death certificate right over here says. Yep, yeah, we read it. We, we yeah. yeah. Real documentation. This, Real is, documentation. this is my favorite, this is my favorite room. I just like, well, I like the history behind. Well, I like it because of this. The mermaid. Fiji Mermaid, there she is. Yep, she was, was part of BT, BT Barnum's freak show. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Dude, I so the freak shows in Venice Beach, as soon as I was able to travel, they closed freak shows for good. Actually, not even. I was like 15 when they closed freak shows for good. Because I, I, dude, it's weird. See, I was looking at freak shows when I'm like 14, 15 years old trying to go to one. And now look. Yeah, and now we actually have at least a piece of one. Right, right. That's insane, though. I love, I, I really like it. I think it's a monkey. What do you think? I know oh. these are teeth. And you can see ribs and stuff in there. Yeah, dude, honestly, I don't oh. know, but it's something, all right. Ugh. Jeez. It's just cool. It's just amazing. It is. That's an amazing it's piece. Creepiest. I'm glad it's in here. I want to buy it. I think it's expensive, or she. Yeah. But we, um, I'll come here, and Ken, the guy that did the restoration, he'll move her, and I'll find her in the hallway or something to scare the crap out of me. Oh, my God. I'll go to the third floor, and she'll be up on the third floor. Yeah, no, that's not, you know. That's not cool. That's, that's not, not cool. cool. That's, that's not nice. No. Yeah. No. So. <laughs> wood over there um the roofers found that uh, yep. when they were doing the roof and that's actually a piece of the charred wood on the and they gave it to me oh that's a nice. souvenir yeah. and i said i don't want it so i gave it to the owners and they had it framed but when they brought it home to new jersey they brought it home they went in bed went in their house and went to bed whatever he woke up the next morning to go to work and every door in his truck he owns a suburban was open all oh. the doors, the latches, the windows, Whoa. the everything, front, back, hood, everything was all open. He's like, what the heck? Allison, did you touch that? And she said, I didn't go out there. So he took the wood, he brought it to the framers, and he said, keep it until I come and pick it up. Wow. And guys, like, here's a so close up on the wood. With me. Yeah, bad luck. Bad luck, yep. All right. Wow. So I mean, you can't like, you can't even fake that death. You can't fake that, no, because it's, it's literally the haunted floor. The haunted third floor. The most haunted floor? I think so. Okay. We'll see. We haven't been in the basement yet. Just, what? you know, we haven't been in the basement yet. It's true. Oh, it feels so nice up here. Yeah, so cold. it's cold in this one. I love this floor. This is the <laughs> servants' quarters. So this is where, like, the maids would sleep. This is where everybody, yep. This is where they would slept. This is, um... I showed you guys in that closet. Did I show you guys what's in that closet? Uh, There's no. writing on the wall? No. The oh, oh. Okay. She's done. Marion did so much tours. She didn't I'm remember sorry, us. I'm sorry. I was, I it's not just Corey's, just... Corey's fault. Oh, okay. This is a cistern. What it is would, that? It would fill up with rainwater from the roof. The pipes would be up here. It would fill this up with rainwater. The, the spigot would be down here. They would use it to do laundry, clean. What? Paint. I've never. And then heard when of this these. would fill up. Down in the maid's room is a little dial. They would turn it and it would fill up the one in the basement. But in here, a friend of ours, Rodney, was cleaning it all out and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he saw a letter right here on the wall. I want you to look at this. It was written in 1902. All right, guys. I, I can barely read that cursive. It's like so proper. 
I can't even I understand it. I think Edward it. wrote it. If I'm not mistaken, then Edward wrote it, which would have been the beast. The son. The son, the third son. So it was a, what was this about? It's about a wedding in Boston. It so pretty much what sums it up is just, is a, there is just a lot of mysteries in this in house. This house. Yeah. That's what it comes, and that's what we talk about even on the non, on the abandoned sh shows that we film. It's like, the only way to know the history on a house is like, unless something awful happened that they had a document, or you have to just know the owner. Because if not, you have to just look at previous like papers they had and kind of guess. And that, that's why houses are really hard compared to like a school or, you know what I mean? Like things like that. This, all this stuff is supposed to be downstairs. Because it's because that it was a nursery. It's a nursery, right? But these hooks and stuff on the wall, there would have been hooks here. It's where they hung the laundry. Oh. It would have gone straight across. Yeah, here. right. Yeah, this is. You know, they would have lived up here and. Dude, are these original to the house? No, they're not. Okay, okay. Well, you see, I, I like that you're honest because I if I, I said to honest, it's if I said it to other people, they'd be like, no. yeah, it's the real, it's the real thing to the no, house. It's you know, not. It's that's not. why that's why we keep it legit. We keep it legit. Yeah. yeah. Is this crib original? Nope. That was from the flea market, sorry. No. Still cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Susan and Sarah, did Susan they die in this Sarah, house? They did, it's on the list downstairs, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they died in this house. They both slept in the same house together? Like the same room? In the room, same room, yeah. Okay. Yeah, in the same room. This is this room was the worst. The whole, All the walls were broken down. It was pigeons and wow. it was bad in here. It was really, really bad. You would never guess. Whoever like did the, the renovation, Ken. Ken. Ken did Amazing. this Shout out to Ken. Yeah. Shout out to Ken. Shout out to Ken. Ken Watson, yep. In the pink walls. In the pink, yep. shout out to the pink it's walls. beautiful in here, huh? And over here is actually where the billiards room was. The pool table. Oh. But no longer. No pool but table now. No. no. I have a question for you guys. Okay. Back in the day. Servants weren't allowed to be seen in public, as we all know. Yeah. Yep. Why did Mr. Pierce have his pool table up here? I think he he. Uh, Why did he invite all of his elite friends to come up here into this space? I was. I. Uh, dang. Since, since this was the service course floor, maybe to make fun of the servants. For me, what? Oh, okay. I think they just wanted to entertain the servants, and yeah, that he was more genuine and friendly. Yeah, let's let's say that. Go in that closet over there. I'll see you guys there. Wow. What would they do? What would they put? What would they do with this room, though? Here, same, same. Uh, for uh, YouTube purposes, we cannot uh, elaborate on that. <laughs> Honestly, you're the best tour guide, Marion. Thanks. Oh, sick. dude, this is sick. This is the freaking tower. Is it gorgeous? Up here? Yeah, it actually, it is. I, I can't believe they refixed it. They refixed the tower. Yeah, yeah. Do the people outside must be like, what's going on? They're because they're looking at it. up the, the tower. Well, when we were outside, just like talking outside, we were having people like beat their horns out. Yeah. Like, it was insane phones. how many people were just like, they why are we here? Like, people actually see spirit up here too. They see a little boy, they see a woman up here. Dude. Um, but uh, I wish you guys would have come up here during the day. You could saw so much. It's still so cool though, just to say I was up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, this we has chilling. Been like a four year journey for me personally, mm -hmm. like to say that I'm that I'm up in the tower of SK Mansion. I was just gonna say I'll get a picture of the three of you guys. Yes. Dude, yes. yes. Please. Maybe we should how should we stay? Alright. Alright, explorers, we didn't explore the basement, but we're waiting to explore it till actually when we do the ghost investigation. We're not just gonna go down and show you guys it. We're saving it for the very last, because that's obviously where they found yeah. the girl's body. And we're gonna wait until we get Corey and everyone ready for the ghost investigation. We did damage. Yep. Now we are. How's your arm? Uh, uh, pretty numb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you want to borrow that, you can. Okay. It'll 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 help. It'll help. Yeah. yeah. Yo, say so the gang's all here. You guys are picking out. You got the candy bars, the candy. I, dude, I thought you were on the diet, Corey. What's going on? <laughs> Snacking away well, over there. Well, it's the new diet. Yep. We're, yeah, we're all I'm on sorry, it. Sorry, <laughs> I haven't touched one candy bar. He hasn't touched one candy bar. Oh, okay. It's like a fucking... Maybe I'll... <laughs> Obviously, I'm holding the REM pod. I'm gonna drop it somewhere. We're now shut the lights off in the entire house of the SK Mansion. And I guess we're starting off upstairs. Everyone's going upstairs. But I'm gonna leave my REM pod down here. If we hear something go off, down here, I'm running down here so fast. That's what you're gonna hear. Watch one more time. All right, don't forget it. What do you want? What do you want? Do you want to talk to me? What do you want to talk to in the room? Can you just say their name, please? Yeah. Seth. 
Did it, did I really just say my name? Sounded like it. You can talk to me. I'd love to talk to whoever's in this room. He's right here. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Seth. Who am I talking to? I don't know. I just heard it. There's a REM pod in this room over here, but I didn't see no lights. I, something did go off. Yeah. I, had, I put a REM pod in the stairway downstairs. And you did. Was it beep, 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 beep. Yeah, but did it. Did you get a camera on? No. Well, what freaking good is it? <laughs> just so we could hear it. Ghost hunting 101. We're learning. We're learning. We should have put In one. this stairwell or this stairwell? Very, at the very bottom. Okay. Oh, dude, yeah, that's my REM pod went off. <laughs> Dude. This is why we need another one of these cameras. That means someone's coming upstairs though. All right. Because I put That's it on fine. the stairway coming up. They can come join and talk to us. I'll put another gun card in the top. Yeah, that would be good. Then we can hear it. Hold this guy. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. Come on. Put this up here. Wait, your arm's burning? Yeah. Give me a second to see if my arm's up. Go, go back. Go, roll your sleeve up again. All right, that's your tattoo. Okay, never mind. But did you know wild. that's a tattoo? No, 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 it looks wild on the, on the, on oh. the, on the, yeah, watch. Well, we have heard stories about people look. getting scratched and stuff. Look, oh shit, it's gone. Yeah. Really cool. Now, what does this actually do? Like, it just shows the temperature? So oh. it's a thermal imaging camera. Oh, okay. Right? So it's a flare, forward-looking infrared. Right. Okay, You cool. know? So anything paranormal, um... There'll be a heat discrepancy one way or another. Usually it's cold rather than hot. Yeah. So it would show up as like a dark, dark blue, like the background. Uh, right. Okay. I see. Yeah. And then you can see it. Wow. See it. Oh, you can see his handprint. Isn't that cool? That's super cool. Oh. I can see that first, but it disappears. That looks good. It looks uh, dope I on the camera. I seen that. I seen Rise on that one. Yes. Yeah, so, this device so we're all in the red room now. We're gonna try the money trick that we were talking about earlier, right? Yeah, we have to try the money trick. I honestly think that it might do something. I mean, it's worth a shot, right? How about the lights? That's it, yo. That's the blue. Blue, yeah. blue. I heard a blue. Yeah. I heard a blue. Okay. Well, let's start it again. <laughs> Thank you. your last name? Shut up! Yeah, that's his last name. Get out of here! Your name is Gordon. Can you say Gordon? Yeah, 
Yo, did you hear? Yeah, it's him. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Sounded like blatantly. Like yeah, it's him. How many of us did you see in the room? Wow. He really nice. Have you had It's not it's not three. Six. Six. There it is. Thank you. That's crazy. Maybe Seth should do the money thing. No, we got a lot of people that were investigating in this room and a lot of people have been touched inappropriately in here, have been grabbed, you know. Well, tonight, let's throw money on the bed. Lay on the bed real. and see. We'll see. We'll... I have a dollar out of my wallet. I'm putting money on the dead, on the bed. Hold on, hold on. You can't do it yet. I'm, not oh, I'm doing it. I'm not laying down. It's not going to work. It's going to work. We gave you money and Seth's on the bed. Can you touch Seth? Feel him. Feel him. Feel him. Well, you're alive. It was a female. <laughs> you can do it if you want. That's why I'm laying here. I heard kill. I'm just saying. I heard kill. Oh. Seth. Yeah. So this is actually the darkest room maybe in the whole place and I'm staying in here by myself, in the closet. If there's a room you don't want us in, can you perhaps shut the door or just make a noise in that area? Thank you. Someone just grabbed my foot. So, you know, I know it's probably painful for you, but can you tell us how you died? There was a lot of smoke, and the smoke eventually led towards a... Blood? Fire. Fire. Yeah. Yeah. Lillian dug in this kiln here. Was it your bones that she found? Oh, okay. That's a yes. Okay. Do you know of a little boy that was murdered down here? Is it true that he drowned? That's a no. No. It won't go. Yes, she won't go. Yeah, we got it. We're showing that. I've never seen a double. It was like map right on you. Right, like really. What? What? Okay. Okay. All right. Are we bothering you? Oh boy, dude. Okay, everybody should shut it off. If there's something in between you guys, like yeah, a kid, like a kid, like a kid. Okay. Hi. Um, we just moved into the room you wanted us in. Can you say hello to us? Oh. What the f was that? Yo.